Hey guys, welcome again. In this video, we will talk about effect of curses in the previous birth. So as per Hindu mythology and a couple of other traditions as well, there is a myth about the previous birth. It says like whatever karmas you do in your previous birth, you will have to bear the results of that in your this birth, right? And uh, as for Vedic Astrology, there are some curses you might have in your previous birth. Some of the curses or most of the curses I will be discussing uh, as a part of this series because it's going to be a long series and uh, we will discuss all the different type of curses in the Vedic Astrology. This is one of the videos and you might not find a bunch of the videos related with the curses. So, pretty excited about that. Cool. So, without any delay, let's look into the first yoga for the loss of kids and the requisite remedial measures for the same. So, two conditions. A person will be without a son if Guru, the Lord of the Lagna and the Lord of the Fifth are all devoid of strength. Second, the same thing can happen if Sun, Mars, Rahu and Saturn endowed with strength be in the fifth house and the significator for the children namely Guru or Jupiter and the Lord of Fifth are bereft of strength. Curse of Serpents Rahu is in the fifth aspected by Mangal or Mars. Rahu in the fifth aspected by Mars. Lord of the fifth associated with Rahu and Moon is in the fifth and is aspected by Saturn. What is the condition? Lord of the fifth is associated with Rahu and Moon is in the fifth and is aspected by Saturn. Significator for kids, that is Guru, is associated with Rahu and the Lord of the fifth is devoid of strength and the Lord of the Ascendant or Lagna is with Mars. Next, significator for children is associated with Mars. Ascendant or Lagna is occupied by Rahu and the Lord of Fifth is in Sixth. Lord of 5th is in 6th, 8th or 12th house. Mercury as the Lord of the 5th is in the Navams of Mars or is associated with Mars and Lagna or ascendant is occupied by Rahu. Fifth house is Aries or Mesh or Vrushik or Scorpio. Fifth house is any of Mars sign that is Aries or Scorpio and the Lord of the Fifth, that is Mars, is associated with Rahu or Mercury. Excuse me. Fifth house is occupied by Sun, Saturn, Mars, Rahu, Mercury. And Jupiter and the Lord of the Fifth and Lagna or Ascendant 
आर ऑल डिवाइड ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ लॉर्ड ऑफ द एसेंडेंट और जुपिटर इज असोसिएटेड विद राहु एंड द लॉर्ड ऑफ द फिफ्थ हाउस इज इन कंजंक्शन विद मार्स सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द योगास फॉर लॉस ऑफ द किड्स and now let's talk about the remedial measures so this is all as per the vedic astrology which is being prescribed so the remedial measures can be getting an idol of nag or serpent made in gold and after worshiping it in accordance with the prescribed procedure giving it in a charity a cow some land sea same seeds and gold by adopting these measures the lord of serpents will be gratified and by his beneficence the person concerned will be blessed with the son and the lineage of his family will be prolonged so guys this is the remedial measure as prescribed in the vedic astrology and uh, as prescribed in the remedial measures book and um, usually i would say like have faith trust god do all your good deeds not all the measures can be done by everyone but good karmas or thinking good can be done easily by each and every one of us so even though i have mentioned this if it is possible for you yes go ahead and do that but if it is not possible for you it's not the end of the world have faith in the almighty believe in god do all the good deeds do not incur any other bad karmas think good about all the other people sometimes when you are upset just be calm do some kind of meditation go out in the open but do not do any more bad karmas right remember the almighty so friends this is my understanding and based on the books that i have read so far just wanted to share this knowledge with you guys i hope you like this video if that's the case please do not forget to like share and subscribe If you do have any comments in the video please add the comments in the comment section below that's all for today see you again with the next part of this video series thank you for joining me